Hello everyone, thank you for watching my video. My name is Lee. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Docker and Traffic2 to deploy Kong and Conga on your server. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to open my browser and go to my blog. If you have watched my um, videos before, you know normally I will use the default traffic configurations I put here. But with Con and Conga, as I was using file providers, um, which is not the same as um, the default traffic configurations. So all the configurations will be on this blog post. Next, let's go to open my terminal and log into the server. This is the version of my Docker and the version of my Docker Compose. First, let's create some files and folders. Then we're starting to put contents onto those files. First one is the Docker Compose file for traffic. Next, the static configuration file for traffic. We need to change domain here to your domain or whatever email address you want to use. Next, we are going to fill the content of the dynamic configurations here. We also need to change your domain to you can put whatever name you want. I just choose to use dash store my domain to be the dashboard and con dot my domain as the con um, API gateway and conga dot my domain. You get the idea. Um, and you can also you, do, you might also notice that I put the IP address of con here, which we need to fill out later. Okay, so let's just save it. Now we should be able to run our traffic container. First, let me just create a network proxy. Oh. Sorry. Proxy. Okay. All right. It should be pretty quick. Let's go to dash dot. That's very normal, as you know. So traffic is trying to fetch the SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt for you automatically. Done. So the next step, we're going to deploy Kong and Conga. So let's just copy the files from here. Is there anything I need to change? Nope, just save it. And environment variable, just copy. Okay, then we just go to con and we should be able to star con and conga. So this might take some time, so I will fast forward. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so all the containers we need is running now. Let's go to the con. Let's inspect con's um, IP address, which is B5A7. This is the IP address. Okay. So need to change the dynamic configurations. Okay. 
Okay, next let's inspect the conga. Okay. Alright, let's try if Kong is set up. So localhost. Yep. Yep. So you as you can see the con admin API is running on the local A thousand and one ports. And let's go to con dot As you can see, it's working fine. We are hitting the uh, default con API. The certificate it's automatically generated for you. And conga. As you can see, it is up and running. So it is very simple to deploy con in this way. Um, you just basically copy the um, configurations on this blog post and you should be up and running. Um, of course, there are some details in, in my blog post which you might use. For example, if you don't want to use the database for Conga, you can just create a persistent uh, volume for Conga to store the data instead of using the um, database, things like that. So please read my blog post. If you have further questions, you can leave me a comment and um, I'll try my best to answer your questions. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, and thank you for watching. See you next time.